Holy shit, Morse pockets. So many pockets in these amazing bags from Nomadic. Here we have the travel pack. You can tell because it has a much wider compartment that's actually collapsible. And here is the backpack, meant to be your daily carry, but it also has an expandable bit so you can go from like 20 liters to 40 liters. Not 40 liters, 24 liters. This is 20 to 24 liters. This is about 20 to 30 liters. And they have so many pockets. Let's get into them. All right, I'm gonna start with our backpack because a lot of the features are the same between the backpack and the travel pack. However, obviously the travel pack has that expandability from 20 to 30 liters, so you can use it for your three to five day trips, or if you're a minimal traveler, you can use it for much longer than that. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at the outside of the bag, okay? First and foremost, I always notice these handles and it's a great handle. I just did a review on the Nomadic Travel Bag, their duffel backpack, um, and has the same exact handle. Big, nice, easy, you can reach down, you can find it, you could grab it, and it feels really comfortable to carry. Then you've got your straps. Same straps as are on the travel bag. Uh, sternum strap that's adjustable in the whole nine yards. This one though does have some padding in the back. Both these bags do with an air channel. So you're gonna get a nice little bit of flow on there, which is you're gonna notice different from the travel bag, their duffel, which just had that tarpaulin, tarpaulin rubberized thing that made for sweatiness. This won't get you sweaty. You've got some absorbent material here and some ridges and some caresses for air. Caress me down. Now, these straps do something fairly interesting in the back here. You see this button guy? This is a button guy. That's what that is. Two things about that. Number one, it, it comes undone. That's what buttons do. Number two, behind here, there's a little secret compartment. A little secret like passport compartment or I don't know, like a, a ring, like you're gonna ask your girlfriend to marry you and you're just like, I'm gonna put the ring somewhere safe. Like put it there, don't forget about it. But then because this opens up like so, we can actually slide our straps away and then button that down if we wanted to. If we wanted to go full, you know, stealth mode or something. Okay, so here we are in stealth mode, right? You've got grab handles on both sides, so you could carry this thing as a little bit of a, you know, as a brief kind of thing. But uh, it's sort of funky, I'll admit it, it's funky. But for some of you, that might be a lifesaver. If that is, I wanna hear about it in the comments. If you're like, oh, that would change my life because then I could, do what? It still doesn't look that great as a briefcase, but maybe some of you are using it like crazy that way. Then finally on the back here, the other feature is you've got a Velcro bit in there that lets it so that you can set your uh, your luggage handle all the way through. You know, if you're if you're carrying a, a rolling bag, it's a lifesaver when your bag can just slide right on top of that. You don't have to worry about it. it doesn't make the thing tip and roll. I love manufacturers who add that stuff. Now, look at these water bottle holders. You see that bat winging out like that? Woo, open it up. It's because it is magnetic. It closes magnetic and then it has a uh, little bit of undies stuff here in the back. Really, really nice. Feels like really high quality materials. It's pretty dang easy to get your stuff into, which is nice. You got one on both sides of both of these bags. All of the things I've shown you so far are exactly the same. Both the bags have the same straps, the same button thing, the same hidden pocket, the same water bottles, the same grab handles on the side. While we're on the back still, let me just put it on and just tell you a little bit about what it's like to carry. Both of these guys are just really comfortable. Again, this is the backpack meant to be daily carry. It's sleek, it's slim, it feels like a Feels like a, I don't know, like I'm about to jump out of an airplane or something. But not just any airplane, like Elon Musk's airplane. He's like, oh, so you wanna you wanna jump out of the airplane? I have a bunch of these backpacks lying around with uh, parachutes in them. They're actually not parachutes. You pull the button and a giant or organic ball of uh, energy matter wraps around you and uh, you uh, have an infinite life. Would you like to try it? It's a small bag. Like I said, this one's 20 to 24 liters. I feel like, I, I feel comfortable. I got all my stuff there. I feel really sleek and slim. Like I can pull my ba elbows back and my backpack isn't going around there. It feels nice and solid on there. It's a great bag to carry. Okay, complete. continuing our tour around the outside of the bag, up on the top. Quick access, baby. It's flat up against here, okay? And you've got about 
that much room. There is a little hole in the bottom of it so you can slip a cord, you know, up through it, which I'll show you why you'd want to do that here in a little bit if I remember. But this is the quick access, like sunglasses, excellent, headphones, excellent. One note about the material on both of these bags, we're using a very high quality tarpaulin, completely 100% waterproof material. It feels like rubberized. If you ever been on one of those boats, like a dinghy, like a Zodiac dinghy, feels like exactly the same material as that. Then all your zippers are water sealed, water resistant, okay? They are not 100% waterproof, right? No bag really is. They are not YKK zippers that I have been able to find. It doesn't say so on the zipper nor on their website. Several of them are lockable, which is excellent. Uh, and they, I found on this bag, all the zippers work really, really easily. There's no sort of stickiness, it feels great. Okay, now check this out. This is their expandability right here. I left it open so that I wouldn't forget it. It zips around the bottom back of the bag. 20 liters, solid, tight, right? But then when you unzip it, you have an extra four liters of space that you can fill up. So that takes you from like being able to fit probably three, maybe three, three wool sweaters in there, all the way up to like probably five, maybe six wool sweaters just because it expands so much space inside the bag. You know, we've already got three in, you could shove in another three once you've opened up this sucker is what I'm saying. The wool sweater counts are very high for a bag that looks and feels this small. But I, of course, much prefer the look and the carry of it as a smaller, 20 liter bag. All right, so now we are getting into the meat and potatoes of the bag. The two main pockets. There's one internal pocket, which is basically all of the space that you see here, and then one outside thin sort of pocket, but they have both of them a lot of organization. Let's start with this panel on the outside, the tech panel, as I call it. We zip all the way around, and then we have this like sort of gusseted opening sort of thing. Inside here, you have loads of organization. First thing I wanted to pay attention to, it's it's a glasses case that they, I believe comes with these bags. Um, you've got a little uh, glasses pouch here that you put inside here, and it's just a way for you to keep those glasses nice and secure, which is a nice thought. I don't know where on the bag you're supposed to put it, so I just had it thrown in here. I gotta tell you what I have opted for with all of my glasses is I have like a semi hard, semi soft leather guy, which feels like it does just enough protection for me, but I can also smush it into stuff. So it's a lot smaller than this, uh, but this is a lot more protection. Now inside here, boom, 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 boom. All right, you see that? B -b 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 boom, all right? Little thin guy down here, perfect size for boarding passes and stuff. Lots of dongles, Rodney. Rodney, we got your dongles, buddy. Then on this side, RFID safe pocket, okay? With lockable zippers. Put your passport, your credit cards and things like that, and Pierre can't get to them. You know, Pierre from the other one. Anyways, a couple of you get that. Two more, bam, bam. Pockets down there with the elastic straps. Two pen holders, ba -ba bam, 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 bam. And then a flat zipper guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a lot easier for you to get a sense of the pockets when I make different sounds for them. I'm a, I'm a little bit uh, synesthetic that way. Okay, so here is our, here's our flat panel, all right? Some of you might be going, Chase, is that where you put your papers? Your business papers, man? And I would have to say, no, I do not. I have something to show you. Okay, so similar to the way that this opens around the front of the bag and then doing these things, that's how our main compartment opens as well. By the way, two zippers for each of these and they're lockable, okay? Wait, is there three on this guy? Oh man. By the way, the lockers for each of these are, or the zippers for each of these are lockable. And there's two on the front one and three on the back one. So you can get into the back, the main panel from one side or the other at all times. If you got that going for you. You can see what it's like to open it through and it opens all the way like a DeLorean. 
Marty, we gotta get back to the future. Okay, before I go any further, remember when I said in the quick access pocket, there's a little cord pass through. This is it right here. You wanna put a little like your little power thing right in here and then have a cord come up through there and go through your quick access. You could plug your thing in cause you're like solving all the world's problems at the same time and you can't like stop somewhere and plug your phone in. I get it, that's awesome. You got that right here. Then on this pocket, this side here, two meshy opening guys, lots of organization in this pocket. We ain't even, we ain't even started yet. This is great. Always got to have you, never want to see you kind of stuff can go right in here. There are elastic strappy dappies right here on the top and the, on the side of both of this thing. Look at this thing. Open it up. Look at me. Look at me. I'm exposed to you. Look at all my, I have all of these undie straps right here. There's so many of them. Mesh that goes around your, you can see my, my power charger right here. It doesn't perfectly fit, but the mesh goes all the way around it. Makes it feel nice and comfortable. And it holds all those nooks and crannies and crevices. There's one other little thing. Look at this bitch, Huh? You open this guy up. What is that? It's a key thing that's like clipped on in there. Cause I'm gonna go grabbing my keys Open up my open up my guy just a little bit. So if this is all zipped up, right? I'm gonna open from my guy down here. And I'm gonna go grab my key guy, which isn't that hard actually. And then I I get my keys, and I don't need my keys in my pocket. All right? Some interesting nerdy shit, you guys. I want to know if you guys use that. I want to know if you're like, yeah, I fucking use that every day. Cause I'm like, dude, tell me about your life. Cause you know what you have? You have a machine that feeds your dog. Right? I want to know who vacuums your house. Probably a robot. You're thinking with your head, solving your everyday problems, and I like it. Okay? Crazy stuff. I would never use that, but if you felt like using that, that probably would end up changing your life. So the elastic is on both sides, and then top and bottom. I love that. I love having my, my Mac charger just like up high, so I just need to open up the one little flap around the top here. Then, you've got a place for your computer in the back, okay? Nice little, uh, I'm not sure exactly why this is the, shaped the way that it is, but uh, but I like it. I think if you had a smaller computer, you could clip it, flip it around there. This is my 15 inch MacBook Pro. It fits perfectly. Nice, light, like lots of little room. You could, you could definitely fit bigger than that in here. Nice protection and padding. It's up off the bottom of the bag just a little bit. Then, all right guys, check this out, then. It comes with an array of flippy flappies, a flapper dippies, a dip lammers to throw into this bag. They have Velcro on the back because the back panel is totally Velcroable, right where the laptop compartment is. It's just this big Velcro thing. It's like, hey, put your accessories here. And so you can choose from one of three of these. When you get it, it's gonna come with all three. Oh my God, you get to choose live. Oh my God. I, of course, Went for an option that has plenty of room for my papers, my business papers, man. And also because the back panel is wada bang, wham, wada da bam, bam. My 12 inch big old honking iPad Pro fits perfectly and it's a padded, like got a little fleece around the outside pocket. So that's for sure the best, like I love that. I love that. And I throw my business papers, I got my notebook, I got my journal, something in there. I might just buy a book and put it in there just be like, I don't want you to be lonely. All of these flip on there real easy. Let me show you just a sense. Feel like it's hurting the back. I don't want to hurt it. <sighs> just some Velcroable stuff here, right? You put your stuff in there. Uh, you put your stuff in there and wabba bam, ba bam, ba 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 bam. All right, so that is their daily carry, their day pack, their nomadic backpack. Okay, let's compare and contrast what's different on their big sucker, the travel pack. First of all, look, feel, materials, straps, water bottles, backpack straps, secret pocket, buttons, handle. All the same. Materials, all that stuff, all the same. Front pocket, all right? Our little pouch out here, our panel of, of organization, exactly the same, including the RFID pocket right here on the front. This bag is surprisingly good as a you know single bag travel bag. 
Here we're seeing a little something, right? Let me see what's happening. It just didn't like, just didn't like that. These are the kind of things that might happen for a while. It might break in over time. These are brand new coil zippers when you get them, right? So the huge difference that you notice on this bag is there's so much more space right here, right? And you can see right here, that's where I would zip this down and it zips all the way around and back again to cover up everything here and pull it together to be that 20 liter bag all over again. So this bag is effectively exactly the same as we've seen so far as the other bag, but let's get into where the differences are, okay? Let's open up that main compartment and what, dude, this thing is huge. Look how much space is in here. There's so many zippers over here, actually. <laughs> Look at this thing. So I'm gonna zip this around. There's actually four zippers. I said three before. There's two zippers on either side. So when I have this thing open like this, I have two over here and two over here. I can close that up and then open it from the bottom, or I can do it on the other side as well, right? So anyways, we open this sucker up. It opens up all the way, clamshell like that. Love that. Exactly the same quick access or pocket sort of cord pass through two mesh guys. Then any of you who saw my nomadic travel bag review will recognize this. This is their vacuum packer thing, which is exactly what I would use in this bag. I've also got my, uh, my toiletry kit. This, you can check out the Nomadic Travel Bag Review, which I'll put a little link to around here. And uh, this is my Slicks, uh, or fl what was it, Flink, my Flink toiletry kit. You can look in that Nomadic Travel Bag Review for more info on that. But let's look inside the bag here, because you're gonna see a little bit of stuff going on. Number one, there's this mesh, like, divider thing, okay? This divides, that expandable area, right? All of that from the, the regular ass main compartment of the bag. So when this thing, as I'll show you now, is totally zipped up, I'm doing, I'm closing up that expandable pocket right now, closing it up, closing it up. What's amazing about this is you can travel with quite a bunch of stuff. Like this is as much clothes as I had in the travel bag, right? This big old duffel, I basically had this much clothes fit amongst other shoes and water bottles and stuff like that. I fit that in here, no problem, right? And then when I open this up, I've just got another little spot now. This is, everything's the same. It's like the same size and everything as the travel Ba or as the backpack we were just looking at. However, my laptop's not right here, okay? My laptop has a separate compartment in the back, which I'll show you in a second, but this is how they do that compression thing, right? So you can already fit quite a bit in here if you know you can get your laptop from another compartment. So you're never really opening this. You just got like the, the stuff that, that you're, you're closing shit in here. This is an excellent minimal travel bag. Excellent in terms of size, in terms of how much stuff you can fit in there, and in terms of getting yourself to the destination and then pulling everything out, zipping up those compression straps, and you're good to go. I said zipping up those compression straps. I just meant like zipping up that compression pocket. Now, let me show you the back here. It opens up. Totally clamshell, like you need for TSA, for them to go, hey, can you take your laptop out of your bag? I'm like, wait, what, it opens up like this, like take your laptop out of your bag, sir. I don't wanna have to ask you again, sir, take your laptop out of your bag. Every bag company like advertises this as like, TSA compliant, like bag opener thing. And I, <laughs> it's always TSA people are like, what are you doing? Take your laptop out and put it in the bin. I can't let your laptop go back. It's not in a bin. Put it in the bin. I'm like, it's in my safe backpack thing. Anyways, doesn't matter. What's nice is that you can get in and out of your laptop compartment this way super easily. You've also got that same kind of tech pocket right here. Uh, sorry, tablet pocket. And then, here we go. Your papers. Business papers, man. Okay, so that is a major difference between the travel bag uh, or the travel pack and the backpack. Okay, the travel pack expands and you have your laptop compartment in the back, 
right? The backpack, you have those three different pouches that you can put inside and your, your laptop and everything is in that main compartment. Now, which one should you go with? I would say definitely go with the travel pack unless you know you're never going to travel with it. Because even if you never travel with it, it's a great daily carry. It functions exactly the same as the other one, except you access your backpack or your, your laptop through the back pocket, which, idea, which might even be ideal for you anyways. I, I find that it's great. I do like having my daily carry all in one little thing. I like that for daily carry stuff. So um, I would, I don't know, it's a little bit of a challenge of which one I'd go with. If I, obviously I would go with the, with the backpack if I was just using it as a daily carry and I would go with this if I wanted a single bag travel bag that I could use as a pretty damn great daily carry when I got to where I'm going. Okay, so let me unzip this, this compression guy. Okay, it goes all the way around the bag. All right, and then boom, boom, boom. You got that sucker. Then let's get inside this sucker, all right? And let's pack it up again so you can see just how easy. Now, when I am packing this thing out, I remove this whole thing, okay? I just unzip this whole, this, this mesh guy and just laid it flat in there so that I could just take this guy, toss her in, and the bag will just kind of do what it needs to do to get around that. Then, toiletry kit goes right inside like so. Bada boom, bada boom, bang. Tony, how'd you do that so easily? Hey, Bob, it was really easy. I gotta tell you, uh, they make it so easy with this vacuum pack thing. I'm like, mm, damn, look at that, it's easy. All right, and now one more thing. There's this zipper that goes around the bottom and side of the bag that allow you to get into that open access thing. I wasn't even using this before because I just used everything in that main compartment because I knew I wanted to travel with this guy, right? However, they do have a packing cube of their own that is made to fit sort of in this area, okay? So you've got about two and a half inches there of, of depth that this thing goes around. And you got a little a little pouch for your shoes, okay? They want you to put your shoes in here, keep your dirt off your other clothes. Uh, that would work pretty damn well. I showed you the other way first because that's how I would have packed it, to be honest, because, uh, because it gives me so much more space and shows you how much I can actually carry because this was about as much clothes as I fa fit inside of their massive travel bag, right? And I could easily fit it inside of here if I just take out the shoes from the travel bag and the water bottle, which is hanging on the outside of this bag. There is just an endless number of ways you guys can travel. I mean, you could travel with so many different bags and this thing is really extensible. All right, so the nomadic travel pack and backpack, okay? The travel pack is the one that you open up and expands. The backpack is the daily carry one. That's a walkthrough of all the pockets and all the features. What are you gonna think about these when you get them? If you dig this techie sort of look, then you're in, right? Like this is really what it looks like. You're gonna look like it's a jet pack and you're in Mission Impossible 7, right? This is very Tom Cruise, this is very I don't know. It's very Tom Cruise. It's very Robocop. It's very like, woo, we're off. So you're going to have that techie aesthetic, but a lot of you love that look. It's a good looking look when you're going from, from office to cafe to home, when you're cruising around. The way that these pockets make your life so much easier is going to make a difference for a lot of you. So you don't mind the look because you know the functionality you're getting. You're gonna feel the fabric, you're gonna feel the material. It feels good, it feels solid, it feels rigid. You're gonna like the way it feels when you put it on because it hugs you nice and tight and it's just like, it's a little rock on your back. Like you feel good. I don't mean rock in a heavy sense. I mean it's like, it's dense and it's right there and, and you know where it is. And then you're gonna feel all those pockets. You're gonna have a pocket for everything that you need in here. I have way more pockets in this than I could possibly 
possibly need for my own use case. But for you, you're just like, bam, 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 bam. So there it is, you guys, those two badass nomadic backpacks. The backpack for daily carry, which goes from 20 to 24 liters. The travel pack, which goes from 20 liters to 30 liters. An excellent pack for daily carry or for your like one bag travel stuff. If I was comparing other bags to look at, I would say the Manal Daily for a daily carry, though this has a lot more functionality and padding and features than that. I would say the Peak everyday backpack competes with these guys pretty strong very techy look very robocop lots of organization lots of protection and padding people are loving that backpack i would say the goruck gr1 as a competitor for these guys or the gr2 34 liter those bags are built bulletproof and strong and uh, and they're a little expensive, but they have a ton of uh, of strength and, and like last you your whole lifeness to them, though they don't hold a candle to the amount of organization in here. The look might be better. In my opinion, it, it's a, an aesthetic that I think is kind of nice, uh, but it, these definitely win on the, uh, on the accessibility and the organization. And then finally, you might want to look at the Synapse 25. It's the only one that I think competes with this travel pack in terms of, of, of a great bag for, for traveling and great at being your daily carry when you get to your destination. That is a very hard thing to do for bags, right? And this ability to expand out and then contract back up and be a decent daily carry, more than a decent, an excellent daily carry, is very challenging. The Synapse 25 does that excellently without any conversion at all. It just is, it can fit a lot of stuff. And then when it doesn't need to be fitting a lot of stuff, it just kind of like doesn't look that big. So check out that one because it's also killer for organization and a little bit of a different look. Okay guys, those are the nomadic backpacks, the pack and the backpack. Hope you loved this. Uh, I certainly enjoyed playing with these bags. It's been fun to use these suckers. Thanks to Nomadic for sending them over for some reviews. What do you guys think of this bag? Do you have it? What do you use the pockets for? I want to know. If you're new to this channel, you've never seen my videos before, I just make bag videos like this. This is basically all I do with this channel right now. So uh, subscribe and come along for the ride and see all the other videos that I have because I've been looking into single bag travel and daily carry bags for a long time now and we got lots of videos. Then if you want more from me, you could check out my podcast, The Fizzle Show, which is for indie business builders, right? Little moms and pops entrepreneurs like you who are bloggers, podcasters, Instagrammers, product creators of all kinds like these indie manufacturers, helping them find their way through life. Oh, and then one more thing, when you use the links on the description below, it helps support this channel. If you get a chance to do so, if you are gonna buy these bags from Nomadic or a lot of the other ones, when you click those links and purchase, it, uh, it supports the channel and it's starting to add up. You guys, it's been really helpful. My wife is like absolutely okay with me making this video right now. So I appreciate all of you who've been clicking and linking and buying because you find these videos helpful. I'm always telling the truth. I'm always going deep with you. Uh, but I am always glad when there's a link there that you get to support the channel through. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.